Hi, I'm Mary Beth Stapleton, Manager of Family and Community Partnerships for Hartford County Public Schools. Welcome to the Parent Academy Real Talk on Community Schools. With me today is Dr. Rockland White, Hartford County Public Schools Grant Specialist and an expert on the Community Schools model for Hartford County Public Schools. Welcome, Dr. White. Thank you, Mary Beth. It's good to have you here today. Glad to be here. So we're going to talk about community schools, yes. just so the community is aware of this new program we have in Hartford County Public Schools. We're really excited to bring it here, but you have some background and expertise in this model and worked on it for years. So could you share that for parents in the community about your experience in community schools? Absolutely. So I've worked in community schools in Maryland for probably about 10 years. So my original background is from Baltimore City Schools, which has been doing community schools for about 20 years. And so in my work, I've worked for nonprofit agencies that were actually community organizations that partner with community schools and then I also became a community school director for one of an, one of the nonprofits in Baltimore City. So I've seen it from the lens of the person leading the model and I've also seen it from the lens as one of the community partners who actually is helping provide resources to the school. Okay. So we have new community schools, actually a couple years now for some of our schools, but now we're up to how many schools in Hartford County? We have 11 schools in Hartford County. So Last year we had seven, and so those were all elementary schools. This year we were able to bring on four additional schools. Those schools are middle schools in our high school. Okay, great. So in the community schools, what are they given that's different than other schools? Like what are the resources? I know they have community school specialists, right? Yes. So with the community schools, each school has a community school specialist, and that is the person who is the liaison between the community and the school itself. So that's the person who's really working to bring in the partnerships and seeing what the school and the community needs and how they can work together. So some of the resources that they bring in are supplies for families when they're in need. So if we have a care closet at most of our schools where if a family is really needing clothes, shoes, items for their household, they can get them there. Also, most of our schools have food pantries, and with the food pantry, those are non-perishable items that the families can get at their leisure whenever the schools are open and available to them. Great. So we know that Community Schools is actually created out of the uh, Blueprint for Maryland's Future. Yes. So that's when you hear about the Blueprint, you're going to hear about Community Schools too, yes. and, and you're working in that Office Strategic Initiative. So that's yes. great. And so thinking about, in addition to those basic needs that are met for families, what other services can be provided at Community Schools that would help families and children thrive? So some of the other services that can be provided at Community Schools are medical services. So some of our schools have partnerships with some uh, mental health facilities in Hartford County. And so instead of the families actually going to those facilities and get those resources, they actually come to the school to make it a little bit easier for the family. Also, in some cases, some of our families have um, language barriers. And so we are able to bring classes such as EOL classes or families who want to learn English. We can bring those into the schools mm -hmm. and the families can participate in those. And so the goal is for the school to be an actual hub. So the families don't have to venture out inside their community or they might have, have transportation and cannot venture outside of their community. So with it being inside the school and that being the hub of the resources, they just come to the school for those things. So you mentioned needs assessment, Dr. White. And so thinking about how do we figure out what these schools need? What, what's the process that the, the staff uses to kind of identify those needs and then find those resources to address those needs. So each school is required to do a needs assessment and the needs assessment is a multi-pronged approach. Initially the at the start of the school year, the community school specialist kind of sees what assets are already in the community. So who is the school already partnering with and what additional gaps are there? So to, in order to figure out the gaps, they do surveys with the community members, parents, even students, staff at the school, school leadership um, to get a better idea of what they think this community needs and what the school needs. They also can do focus groups and those are small conversations with small pockets within the community or in the school for them to get a better access to what they actually need and then they also after they do all of, all of that they do key informant interviews so the interviews are with key stakeholders in the community so if they have churches that are really prevalent and active in the community they can interview the pastor and things like that or if they have um, like this the principal who's been there for a while they can interview the principal so those are the so they combine all that data and information and that's how they kind of determine what the needs are so. and so now it sounds like our schools are really working hard to secure partners to support those needs. So yes. if there's a community organization or a partner or a business out there that wants to support our community schools, we can put a link to all the schools in, in the video, but then in addition to that, who do they reach out to if they really want to get information on how to partner with our community schools? So because there's so many schools and they're in most of our communities in Hartford County, it best 
probably to go through myself and then I can parse you out to depending on what area of the community you are in or what area of the county you're in I can forward you to that community school and that specialist great well thank you well thank you thank so you. much for for overseeing this initiative with supporting our community school specialists and you're providing them technical assistance and professional development as yes. they go throughout the school year so we mm -hmm. thank you for that and I know mm -hmm. our schools do too so we'll get more information out around how our partners and, and parents if they want to help to support Absolutely. our community schools and be involved in our community schools and um, thank you for being here thank you so much for having me Great. I enjoyed it yeah and yes. we'll see you next time on right. Parent Academy Real Talk thank you.